and all the seniors, all the girls on the team. It's really, I've coached a lot of teams, and it's probably as close to perfect of a team. I mean, we didn't have any, there was no, you know, sit down meetings about what's going wrong or anything like that. It was just joy every single day going to the court. And, uh, you know, I think Maddie said it best. Uh, the loss hurts, but, you know, knowing that we don't have practice tomorrow uh, and I'm not going to get to coach these three girls again probably uh, hurts more. But, uh, you know, at the same time, it feels good it's in a weird way. You know, uh, when I was here two years ago with a different team, we kind of got run out of the gym. You know, we kind of drove, we rode home like, hey, it was gravy. You know, we got to the garden. In a weird way, it feels good that we're hurt right now because that means we battled and we were right in the game. And uh, that's a great team, Archbishop Williams. That's, they're not where they are for no reason. Number three was probably just a little bit too much for us to handle and everyone else who played her, I imagine, this year. She's a heck of a ball player. And uh, to think that we could get this far in one or two shots, you know, this team is you know, two shots away from being 24-0 at this point. They have nothing to hang their heads about. They're a fantastic group of basketball players, but even more so, they're a fantastic group of people. And just looking at the game specifically, was there something uh, Williams did defensively to switch it up in the second half that you gave you guys trouble? Or uh, just they the started to front the post a little bit more. Um, they're very active hands. I mean, they don't let any possession go. Um, they're very, very physical defensively. Uh, but I think it just came down to um, probably just ran out of ran out of steam a little bit. You know, lost our legs a little bit. Um, and I mean, in the end, it, it just came down to they made a couple shots at the end, and we didn't. And uh, the, you know, the more you you think about it, that's all the basketball comes down to when the two good teams face each other. And we're two good teams, two of the best teams in the state. I think we can definitively say that. And um, yeah, I think they they were physical. I don't think it's anything special they did. I think just what they do, they do it well. And uh, the, the two underclassmen coming up big again in the fourth quarter. I think they had all their points in the fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, it's hard to look at them as underclassmen at this point. They're just really good basketball players, Alley and Flannery. Um, and for them, it's very fortunate. They were able to just play the game. They didn't have to worry about being leaders this year because of the strong leaders we already had. They were able to be young, young kids, make their mistakes, and get, you know, and, uh, and get picked up by these kids. And uh, most importantly, they've seen how to lead from these girls and Chelsea and Sydney and uh, Kaylee and Ashley and all these girls, they've got to see what it means to be a leader from the best ones you could ever wish to have, to be honest with you. Thanks, much. appreciate Coach, it. Coach, on a positive note, there were times in that in the game where you guys had spacing, you, your players were taking it to the basket. I don't think you could have asked for anything more offensively. No, um, no, we, we, got, we got to the basket. Um, we knew that they were going to give us a chance to drive because they wanted to deny the wing so much. Um, but like a couple, couple missed opportunities at the basket. Um, but you know, they it may it may appear it's wide open, but they they help quickly and they get their hands in there and it's not like they don't they don't let anything go easy. That team they're very good. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you.